Passion Broadcasting Live on YouTube and this is Forex Trading Course 101 and we are trying to build the three pillars the strategy and or the system, the risk management and the psychology part if this is your first time everybody we are in the beginner module we are not in the basic module anymore and in about a week we are finishing the beginner module and we are going to jump into the intermediate hello George how are you into the intermediate module so we are going to we are starting to learn about multiple time frames Fibonacci crowns and uh, hello Silas and the news trading remember 90% of traders lose money in the forex market worldwide and the webinars are not trading or investment advice especially today and tomorrow because we are going to start the trading week okay we are trying to implement what we know into the live markets so for homeworks and or questions you have my gmail contact my skype contact and my linkedin contact that being said it's a crazy week it's a nice crazy week hello Miguel tell me everybody do you do you have a question about any currency pair or do you want me to show you what I am trading this week what do you prefer I'm making money on the demo account congratulations Silas now the second step is to explain to me why are you making money how are you making money you know what is your trick what is your secret <laughs> what is your secret formula you know you need to explain right so when you are able to explain then you can start looking for investors or for some hedge funds USD CAD so okay I'm going to open USD CAD USD CAD let me see JFX USD CAD Mm -hmm. Open template J Cloud. Let's see USD CAD. What are you trading? Obvious. Oh, it's obviously <laughs> USD CAD first. USD CAD. USD CAD daily chart. Oh, you are making money in the USD CAD. Okay, great. Where is the chart? Where is the chart? Where is the chart? Daily, weekly, where is the chart? I don't have it. Okay, everybody, I'm going to show you what I'm trading this week. Uh, let me find, let me find, let me find. I don't have any. Let me see, J Forex maybe here, no, J Forex, where are, maybe here, no, maybe here, J Forex, no, whoops, J Forex isn't showing me any templates, so let's go on the J Cloud. Okay, what I'm trading everybody is I'm shorting AUD USD, let's start with AUD USD first. I'm shorting AUD USD, I'm shorting CHF JPY. I was long and short on AUD CHF. I was long and short on AUD NZD. Okay. AUD not I think I opened the wrong one, J Cloud again. So we're going to start with AUD USD first. Hello MHB. AUD USD AUD USD daily chart. AUD USD daily chart. Okay. So AUD USD. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to close the indicators. There you go, everybody. This is what I'm doing this week. And remember these webinars are not trading or investment advice okay I'm going to delete the moving average we didn't learn indicators yet but what we have learned and we didn't learn the Fibonacci's yet okay so I'm going to delete the Fibonacci's okay 
what we have learned so far is the stop loss the structure the short-term trend and everything and anything okay so this is what I'm doing this week I'm shorting the AUD USD on the daily chart why is that well extension right retracement extension retracement and this was the best entry in here okay this was the entry counter trend line break reverse in the trend this is where and what you should have what you should have learned so far right some of you went long in here right Oh, passion! What did I do wrong? Well, you went long. You went long on AD USD up in here. Hello, Annie. You went long up in here. Oh, but the market is making higher highs, higher lows. This is a uh, up retracement, so you should be shorting the market. So this was the first entry, and still this week I'm shorting the AD USD until Thursday. Why until Thursday my time? Because on Friday we have the non-farm payroll event. Okay, so I'm going to close all the trades on Thursday night my time. I don't know where, where you live, right? If you live in Japan, you should close your trades in the morning. If you live in USA, Canada, Brazil, you should close your trades Thursday night, okay? Now, as you can see, I have two stop loss levels, stop loss number one, stop loss number two, why is that? And as you can see, it's monthly support, this is the monthly support area, okay? Why is that? Because I short the market from the four hour time frame. From the four hour time frame, come on, okay? So I shorted the market here, counter trend line break first. Let's coracle this in black and like where is the like this and okay one entries <clears throat> then I entered in here right and tonight right or this morning there was a news announcement coming out from Australia okay so I'm still in the trade and I'm managing from the 15 minute chart but let's talk about to integrate integrate what you have learned so far right so we learned about structure we learned about the change in the short term trend so the market is making higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows and it reversed so this signalized the end of the retracement okay and starting from this point we were shorting the market okay I'm still shorting here still short and those were my stop losses at entries right right now my stop loss are to, are to break even and I'm managing my trades everybody on the 15 minute chart interest rate decision yes sir okay I'm still in the trade if the market is going to make a higher high on the 15 minute chart then I'm going to close all my trades in here okay this is the take profit level okay could be this one this one this high this high this high but talking about relevant highs and lows extension retracement extension so if the market is going it's always the same everybody of course I have the Fibonacci and my indicators but you have enough knowledge why do you put that stop loss there why not <laughs> why not why not Victor I'm joking with you this is a technique that we have learned in the previous webinars it's called cancel and replace when the market is going into your way Victor and you want if you want to ride the trend every time the market makes a lower low 
you are going to adjust your stop loss to the previous high the market is going to fall again you are going to adjust your stop loss to the previous high so I'm here right now and if the market is going to make a lower high and is going to make a lower low then I'm going to adjust my stop loss this is how professional traders ride the trends I am understand the, the support we are past the support the market broke support Victor in my opinion at least I don't have the crystal ball but I, my support is up in here monthly support and we are below especially because of the interest rate decision okay if there is if there would not be the non-farm perils event I wouldn't manage it on the 15 minute chart but because we are approaching the non-farm peril on Friday then I'm managing this trade on the 15 minute chart okay any structure yes from the daily we ended the retracement so far right we don't know what is going to happen the market can do anything it wants especially on friday but the market ended the retracement was making higher highs higher lows reverse making lower lows lower highs and it's still falling right and it broke support if this is area of support it broke support it went through okay any questions about shorting AUD USD everybody hello Emerson how are you como você está in Portuguese any questions about AUD USD shorting the market okay so I'm shorting this week AUD USD if it's going to continue to fall until Thursday night your stop loss are basic by structure yes sir yes sir not from the daily but from the four hour chart okay okay Victor not from the daily but from the four hour chart and of course risk reward I'm not risking more than one percent half percent per trade okay structure doesn't help you if you don't have enough money in the account so AUD USD is one CHF I'm shorting CHF JPY let's open I'm shorting CHF JPY just give me a second remember everybody these webinars are not trading or investment advice CHF JPY let's see from the daily okay don't do this everybody this is from a student don't do this don't put all the highs and the lows <clears throat> on the chart this is wrong don't do this let's clean up 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 where are we where are we where are we we are here right now delete 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 okay delete the Fibonacci so I'm going to delete everything delete 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 we didn't learn the Fibonacci yet delete delete and delete okay so this is the plain chart this is CHF JPY delete and delete so the market is moving down lower low lower high until here right so this was the downtrend line by 1% per trade do you mean one trade or all trades one trade George one trade I don't have I don't rate I don't have any rules about correlated pairs related pairs it's one percent per trade it doesn't matter what it doesn't matter long short 
okay <clears throat> but this is my style trade what you like trade what you see you can reject what you don't like everybody okay I'm shorting CHF JPY why is that structure extension retracement extension retracement right and I was shorting also everybody I was shorting this sideways movement so this is the sideways movement it's confirmed especially from this smaller time frame and clone somewhere in here so I went short on the two hour time frame up here question regarding data I know you missed data but also we missed you in this way will be difficult to the analyze Victor I don't know what is the problem but uh, oh, I'm talking about the data Miguel has m more data than me okay so but you can send an email to support at ducascopy.com is any way can we get more data I don't know Victor I don't know I don't I'm not a chart I mean I'm not a programming guy Miguel do you know maybe how we get more data <clears throat> Victor is asking for more data I don't know Victor but you can ask the Ducas copy support or this looks like more a long-term consolidation at the bottom of the range including a pivot point yes you are absolutely correct it looks like many things right yes sir okay everybody so why I'm shorting I'm shorting because of few things so again the market is making lower lows lower high this was the extension and then market was making higher highs higher lows and then it paused and didn't make higher highs higher lows anymore okay so why I'm shorting the market until right now maybe tomorrow I will not but until today I'm short because what did I see I see the counter trend line break okay strategy counter trend line break okay there you go I see I saw a counter trend line break right and I didn't short the first one but I shorted in here okay on the two hour chart I'm going to show you okay and I was in and I was out I don't know what is going to happen if the market is going to make another retracement in here and if it's going to break another counter trend and break then I'm going to short again so this was an in and out trade entered yesterday out this morning I do not have more data in August I was using the laptop but since I'm back I have the same data as you do so Victor I don't know but the best way would be for you to to contact Lucas copy support or something okay now this is the daily chart why I'm shorting USDCHF because it's in a sideways channel I have two bearish candlestick formations and the market is not making higher highs and higher low uh, higher highs and higher lows anymore okay and from the two hour standpoint okay this is where I short the market up in here okay counter trend line break and bearish candlestick formations or bearish candlestick formation this was my short rate okay now the market is moving up I'm not going long if you want to say or to ask passion are you going long no I'm not going long I'm going just short if it's going to go back up here well it doesn't really matter to me 
I'm going to short again, but I'm not long. Risk reward is less one per two. No, it's not. No, it's not. How it's one less than one per two? If this is the risk, how is less? One clone two right and clone one more. There you go. Somewhere in here. Eddington, how is risk reward is less one per two? Can you see the quadrants, Eddington? But you're right, you shouldn't risk more than you are making. <coughs> Pivot range low, this all looks like a long. Yes, everybody, it looks many things. But I ask you, do you want to check some pairs of yours or do you want to see what I'm doing this week? You said, well, show us what you are doing. <laughs> this is what I'm doing, okay? I'm not saying that you should do the same, but we are trying to learn how to apply what we have learned so far. So what did I use to enter this trade? I used structure, I used counter trend line breaks, I used the sideways movement, and I used the bearish candlestick formation. That's it. I did contact Dukas copy and no answer. Okay, I'm going to tell this to our boss. I'm going to tell this to Yanis that you were contacting Dukas copy support and no answer. Well, that entry is too advanced for this group. Well, I don't agree with this because you have everything that you want, right? But it's difficult to spot, right? Sideways movement. Draw the proper trend line break and you will see. So we have a long term, right? This is one up trend line and this is the more aggressive one. There you go. Eddington, my friend, don't mix apples with bananas. Okay. Go one, go to one low further left. There is no one further left, Eddington. This is it. There is no one further left. This is it. Okay, Eddington. Are we okay? This is one. And don't worry, everybody. There is a learning curve attached when you are learning how to trade. Okay. This is one counter trend line break, and this is second counter. Yes, that long turn line is more accurate for this group. Well, I don't know what you mean, the trend line is more accurate for this group. No, no, you have the right one now, the delay is text is annoying. Yeah, no problem. <coughs> Okay, everybody, don't worry, there is a learning curve attached to, oh man, I didn't see the sideways channel, I didn't see the whatever, okay? But if we want to apply what we have learned so far, why I'm shorting AUD USD? I'm shorting because structure, the short term trend, okay? Counter trend line break and bearish candlestick formations. Why I'm shorting CHF JPY? on the two hour chart same story i have the end of the retracement i have the sideways channel sideways movement right i didn't enter it until it was confirmed so i didn't short the market here i didn't short the market here right and, and i short here the third time so the market hit a high low high low the third high then I entered short. As a new trader, taking the aggressive counter trend line break is more risky. Well, I'm not agreeing with this, Eddington, because we are trading in the direction of the structure and the short term trend. Why would be the, why this would be risky? Especially when you have higher highs. 
everybody everybody you need to understand and to learn Eddington is right you need to understand and learn those are the first lessons you need to understand and learn right and trust in your education right Eddington is saying well going short up in here is risky right I'm afraid how can I short the oops how can I short the market up in here right how can I short the market up in here well if you trust your education and as soon as the market stop doing stop doing higher highs and higher lows right then get courageous right get courageous and demonstrate this is why we want you to demonstrate first here when 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 you demonstrate just start building your good trading habits right so if you are afraid everybody oh but the market is making higher highs higher lows it doesn't matter you need to understand who is who what is the market structure right who is stronger market structure or the short-term uptrend right so you don't you don't need to be afraid everybody but as Eddington is saying oh I'm afraid it's risky well you need to jump sooner or later why don't you go along with stop loss below the support level of the consolidation daily chart daily chart daily chart George and Eddington you want to go, you, you are saying there is no right or wrong okay there is no right or wrong tell me if we should trade what you see what do you see everybody this is CHF JPY some of you are thinking well going short is risky let's go long if you want to trade what you see what do you see right now well you should not <laughs> there is no counter trend and break you are getting there Victor George and Eddington this is the daily chart if you want to trade what you see what do you see consolidation what else consolidations are part of the trends what else do you see George Victor says down for the print short Eddington what do you see my friend what is less risky to go short or to go long <clears throat> what is going to have less technical risk downtrend short George, do you see the downtrend short? Eddington, do you see the downtrend and short? Do you see? Does anybody see an uptrend? Right? And if you want, let's start with this one. Downtrend line. Downtrend line is in here. Right? The market's making lower lows, lower highs downtrend but it has flattened so it looks equally probable to go up or down the consolidation yes but it's still a downtrend George okay and again I'm not saying you that my style is the right style for you okay but if you ask me passion why are you shorting the market I'm shorting the market because extension retracement extension retracement so far right and talking about the short-term trade higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows higher highs 
lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. Do we agree on that, everybody? I have, we have this the orange, right? And let's color code this in black. We have a down structure from the daily extension retracement, extension retracement, right? And the market has ended the retracement here. The market is not making any more higher highs and higher lows, right? And start to fall, making lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. If you want to see structure, everybody, on the smaller scale, structure on the small. Passion, can I go long? Yes, you can. Absolutely, you can. Why not? Just bear in mind that you are going against structure. Yes, you can. Absolutely. Right? Everybody, let's get clear one thing. I'm not telling you that you should do what am I doing. I'm just showing you what am I doing, okay? And how am I applying what we have learned so far to the live markets. So if I'm in a down structure, in a short-term downtrend for me, shorting the market is less risky. And until the market breaks this downtrend line with relevant highs and lows, the market is still short. Downtrend, but it has flattened. Oh, no, sir, that is not the downtrend line. No, this is not the downtrend line. The market is not making lower lows, lower highs. Okay. Just in case I would follow the downtrend, it looks stronger. And now we are in an extension. Yes, sir. I don't disagree with you, passion, but I'm saying this is the wrong pair to trade this moment. No problem, Eddington. Everybody, you can have your opinion. No problem. So, AUD, USD, CHF, JPY. Next, I was in and out. AUD, CHF. AUDCHF in and out. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's go from the weekly chart. Okay, so I was long and then I was also short on this pair. I was long simply because we are at the so called position trade. Okay, and the long-term bias is up. Okay, now this is the reason that why I went long first. Now let's move on the daily. Let's move on the daily. And what we are seeing is, is the so-called triple bottom. One, two, three. Okay, Passion, could you check GBP, JPY, please? Yes, sir. I'm going to talk just about this one, then we're going to check GBP, JPY, okay? So, I went long in here, okay? But this was not a swing trade, this was not a structure, this was a pure position trade, everybody. Okay, so I was long in here, Somewhere in here, I was long and short on the two hour chart. I'm going to show you in here, long and short up in here. Okay, I went also long short term. I was long in here and now I'm short and I traded this the sideways channel and the short and long I traded this on the I entered on the one hour chart and I managed this on the 15 minute chart okay I entered in here on the two hour chart write the trend cancel and replace cancel and replace cancel and replace okay now on the 15 minute chart
let's wait for the software to respond I hope that let me see let's wait for the j4x there you go okay I was long and short in here okay long and short long and short question for you how do you know everybody million dollar question how do you know that from the daily chart whoops how do you know from the daily chart right because you don't see the future million dollar question how do you know from the daily chart when you see this and you don't have the crystal ball that the market 80% of chance is going to reverse how do you know if you are not able to answer this question please go back on the Dukascopy webinar channel and watch the webinars starting from webinar number one and watch all the webinars over and over minimum two three times okay how do you know right how do you know that the market is going to fall or at least is not going to okay there is no yes there is no 100% but 80% of chance high probability trade 80% of chance that the market is going to fall best resistance yes sir what else what else best resistance yes what else what is give you the confidence the trust right why shouldn't you be afraid up in here right oh but the market's making higher highs and higher lows it's the same logic everybody if you are afraid if you are afraid to take a short trade on CHF JPY, you are going to be afraid to short the market on AUD CHF. Pivot, yes, what else? There is a new high. Buy the candle and support and resistance. What else? The market in order to wave when it forms a high the market in order to wave when it forms a high what must the market do when the market forms a high what must it not that the market should do it's a must it must do structure trend what else what must the market do sometimes it's shallow and it goes up sometimes is deep and it goes up what must the market do when it forms a high we learn this everybody this is where beginner traders lose money because the market is going to form a high reverse exactly this is why I'm telling you it's a suggestion it's not a rule check the weekly and the monthly chart before entering the trade because you could have an up structure and you could have a short term uptrend making higher highs higher lows right short retracement and you would enter in here right and the market maybe would go up a little bit but then it would crash you and you would lose pips and money why is that because the market formed a high on the weekly or maybe the monthly this is where beginner traders lose money everybody okay so the market must reverse it's a must 
it depends or it's going to be a shallow retracement or a deep retracement but it must retrace okay so that's the why I was shorting in here shorting and going long both in this sideways movement right I didn't short in here I stayed out in here okay I stayed out in here why is that because extension retracement I'm not comfortable in trading retracement I stayed out I didn't trade the, the downfall the retracement okay I didn't trade this downfall I went long on this bullish candlestick formation okay I went out I managed to trade on the 15 minute chart so I went out and I went out before of the news announcement and now I'm short and I'm managing the trade on the 15 minute chart why is that because we are still in the position area we have we are in extension and retracement because of the position area okay those are the whys and the how and the and the whens okay Miguel GBP JPY what is your idea GBP JPY GBP JPY remember everybody these webinars are not trading or investment advice Miguel what is your idea do you want to short the market do you want to go long now at first what I can see I can see double bottom okay I can see double bottom which one so and I can see extension retracement extension okay so but this is short term this is the daily chart you want to short the market okay so this is the short term now what is structure from the daily we were in a structural uptrend then the market broke this uptrend line so we are here right now the market is making lower lows lower highs right lower lows lower highs and structure extension retracement extension retracement extension retracement extension down here okay so Miguel technical risk technical risk is that So points for to go in, points, points to enter the short trade. Well, we are at past support. Passion, would you also analyze the USD cat for the last two days in the same way? I'm always analyzing currency pairs in the same way, Annie. If you are asking this, so the answer is yes. I I analyze in the same way of course I have the indicators and the Fibonacci we didn't learn yet but I'm analyzing the market in exactly the same way everybody this is structure and this is the market okay no Fibonacci, no JP Morgan Chase super trending system, no expert advisor, no FX passion is going to help you in here if you don't understand structure. Don't do this anymore, I'm telling you. Analyze the chart. If you don't have enough capital, hopefully you are demo trading. But if you, don't, if you don't have enough capital to risk 1-2% up in here, go find another trade, go find another currency pair. Okay? If you are getting in the ring between the bulls and the bears, they are going to crush you. So we are here. Okay? 
Now let me see the monthly chart. Monthly chart. Okay. <clears throat> Miguel, you have a problem, my friend. A technical problem. Or we have a problem. Okay. And the problem is the bullish candlestick formation from the monthly. Okay. So the market is making higher highs, higher lows, broke the trend line, making lower lows, lower highs. So this is the good point. Okay. See Miguel? If you are going to lose, you are going to lose because of this bullish candlestick formation. What is this everybody? Is this the bullish piercing line? Is this the bullish dark cloud cover? Is this the bullish engulfing? What is this one? And let's see the short term trend lines, right? This one and this one. Let me see. I, I shouldn't break the body of the candle. <clears throat> so, okay, yeah, we are still below the downtrend line. But the monthly chart is controlling price movement and market direction, right? And we are at support, Miguel. So we are at support. So it depends. If you are shorting the market short term, it's okay. Okay. It's okay short term, but in the long term, I would stay out, right? Okay. And I don't know if the Brexit is, is over. How? It, what is the anybody knows about the not convincing <laughs> not convincing bullish well yes and no right bullish engulfing yes is brexit over what's happening with brexit so this is from the monthly chart bad points increase technical risk for the short rate we are at support with the bullish candle okay this is going to increase your technical risk but if you're going to back on the daily, let me see if it's a high or high. And where is the widget? So this candle is one three five six five seven. One three five six. So yeah, it's still a lower high. Whoops, and this one, let me see this one. High is one three five seven four six six. Okay. If you are shorting the market, okay, but you have a higher high in here. Okay, this high on the daily chart is higher than this high. Okay, and what can we do? We can draw a. We can draw an uptrend line. Let me see. Uptrend line. Not Brexit is not over. It's entering a high uncertainty period. I must say I have a Fibonacci with conformity down Fibo. Miguel, we didn't learn Fibonacci yet, okay? So I cannot talk about Fibonacci to the other students. I can talk structure, trends, okay? Now, if you are short, if you ask me, take your profits near this level of past support and if the market is going to break this counter trend line, I would go along everybody. Okay? And remember, these webinars are not trading or investment advice. I'm not advising you, oh, let's go up, let's go long. But I would do this if the market is going to hit this past resistance. Sorry, <laughs> you don't need to be sorry, don't worry. Okay, so if you are short, let's go on the two hour chart. The market is retracing, yes, sir. Okay, if you are in profit, cancel and replace. Okay, 
so let me see extension retracement extension retracement if you are in profit Miguel cancel and replace okay but the area where the market is going to reverse is up in here when the market breaks this level more or less right and breaks this down counter trend line if if it's going to break if not it's going to one or two things are going to happen or it's going to start retracing hit past resistance and continue to fall until past support or in between for any reason because as George said there is, there is high uncertainty maybe the, if the market is going to break the downtrend line the counter trend line and make a higher high right then wait for the market for the next retracement and enter long this is what I would do okay passion would you short no I would not short this one the train has left the building the short entry was up in here right and again everybody you need to have courage don't be afraid higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows lower lows lower highs this was the change in the short term trend okay oh but I'm afraid go on the demo account if you are going to make pips and money on the demo account you are going to make pips and money on the real account and if you are not going to make pips and money on the demo you are not going to make pips and money on the live account I can promise you this it's a promise so the entry would be here this would be the entry you have two lower lows, two lower highs, counter trend and break, so this would be the entry. But the train for me has left the building. We are near past we are near past resistance. I mean past support in here. Past support. What else? Well the market is in an extension mode. If you jumped shorting the market because the mo oh but it's falling yes this is the worst place for you to enter oh but it is falling <laughs> yes but this is the worst place for you to enter because the short term retracement is over and now the market is in an extension mode and after extension comes what comes after extension comes yes correct comes the retracement so if you enter jumped in here this is the wrong place to enter any question Miguel and everybody else about the GBP JPY <clears throat> any questions now sometimes it appears that me and my friend Eddington we are arguing right we are friends don't worry let's clarify one thing today is 1st of October 1st of October so October October and November November yes Silas with you too sometimes we are going to fight in the <laughs> in the webinars no you are wrong I'm right you know September October November December okay sometimes it appears that we are fighting right now if you are making profits everybody 1% in October you are making half percent in November and you are making 
what 0.01 percent in December then you are right okay sometimes looks like we are we are fighting but you need to understand the profit and the numbers is going to show you the truth so if you are doing everything what I say not to do and you are making one percent half percent one percent you can continue because you have found your trading style maybe it's against my rules and everything but you should continue okay the numbers are going to it's not between me and you everybody it's between you and the market if the market is going to show you that you are a profitable trader profitable trader right profitable trader then let's continue this means that you are right okay here it comes he's going to challenge me now and try to put no no <laughs> no 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 Eddington believe me I'm tired I'm tired of arguing with students you know I'm tired I just say well do ah passion I don't agree with you don't, no problem if you are profitable then you do your thing okay last December there were no webinars what about this year well it depends on Santa Claus if the Santa Claus is going to give me some pips then I'm going to go on vacation if Santa Claus is not going to give me any pips then we are going to have <laughs> webinars okay everybody our time is up see you back tomorrow so we are starting the trading week <coughs> everybody stay strong don't be afraid to enter try to learn to trust your education okay so stay strong trade with passion and this is fx passion sign